Now, uh, before I talk to you uh, in a lot more depth about our program, um, I obviously want to take a few moments and speak to you about Thomson Reuters as a whole. Um, many of you may know us for our news agency, Reuters. Uh, hopefully you've seen, seen some of our pictures or um, read, uh, read some of our articles or um, seen us cited as a source uh, in some of the news which you've consumed uh, over the last few days. Um, but as a matter of fact, uh, that's only 10% of our overall business. Uh, we do call ourselves the answer company, and that really begs the question, who do we provide answers to? So very simply, um, we provide answers to legal professionals, tax professionals, corporate professionals um, who want fair and unbiased information to make the key decisions which they are tasked with every day. So I'm going to take a couple minutes and just talk to you a little bit more about each of these divisions and how they operate and how they position themselves in each market which they're in. Um, if you look at our organization as a whole, um, about 74% of our overall revenue comes from a subscription-based model or similar type of agreement to a subscription um, that individuals or corporations um, pay for information and services from us. And also very, another very interesting stat about our organization, 86% of all the information that we do deliver, all the answers that we provide is delivered digitally. Um, so let's focus on our largest area. Um, so legal professionals uh, makes up about 43% of our overall business as it stands right now. Um, some of you uh, may have a friend or family member, uh, partner, significant other who is in the legal profession and may be familiar with some of our products. Um, the flagship uh, products and platforms for our legal professionals group are as Westlaw and Practical Law. So you will hear a lot of lawyers uh, speak about those. Uh, they use them uh, every day to do the legal research um, to help, uh, help argue on behalf of their clients. Um, interesting stat about that uh, group, 97% um, of the leading law firms in the U.S. use at least one of the products or platforms that Thomson Reuters builds and provides um, for legal professionals. Uh, moving along, I'm going to focus next on our tax professionals area. Uh, if any of you perhaps did your CPA or your um, uh, any type of audit work uh, before you went back to business school, uh, you may very well be familiar with some of the products and platforms that our tax professional group does. So uh, it makes up about 14% of our overall business. Um, the key uh, or flagship products, I should say, are uh, OneSource and Checkpoint. So some of you may have, may have used those in the past. Um, and uh, another statistic there that really backs up the market leading position that we believe we have in each of these areas, uh, for the tax professionals group, all 100 of the top 100 CPA audit firms in the U.S., use one of our products or platforms. Um, so again, we feel really confident with our market position there. Uh, next, I'm gonna to speak to you about our corporates group. And uh, this is a relatively new group um, at Thomson Reuters. Um, it was uh, started um, at, just after we announced uh, the formal partnership with Blackstone uh, to privatize about half of our organization. Uh, more than happy to answer some questions about that later. Um, but, uh, but in essence, um, the reason that our corporate group was um, established earlier this year um, to really focus on selling all, all of our products, so everything that our legal professionals team builds, everything that our tax professional team builds, to corporations in particular. Every large multinational publicly traded company or even private company uh, for that matter would have a general counsel, would have tax teams, would have um, uh, finance professionals, uh, compliance professionals who uh, are potential customers or are currently customers of our, um, of our products and platforms. So we've established this group. So just to give you a, a feel for some of the industries that we're really trying to focus our growth on, um, technology is one of those, uh, energy is another. Uh, another one is automotive. So you think of just the major shifts that are happening within each of those industries. 
Um, you know, we'll take the energy industry, for example, obviously moving to uh, greener, more reusable sources of energy. Um, you know, how you go about selling to uh, an oil company or a solar panel company is very different than how you go about selling to a car company or how you go about um, selling to uh, a technology company. So we established this corporates group um, to really focus on that segment of, uh, uh, of individuals who work for organizations and are either legal or tax professionals um, that, uh, that could use our products. Uh, moving along, I already touched on Reuters briefly. They're talking about uh, it being just about 10% of our overall business, but just some very interesting statistics about our news organization. Over 1 billion people consume Reuters news per day. So whether or not that's through the videos that we sell to other media organizations, uh, pictures, uh, text, uh, it's just really astounding number. We produce news in 16 languages in nearly 200 locations around the world. So really, really truly global reach with that organization. I um, want to talk to you about a couple other areas as well, just as you get to know our company. So first of all, operations and enablement. Um, really, that is the backbone of our organization. So going back to 2003, we really tried to take a strategic or enterprise approach um, to how we manage our infrastructure, um, our tech, uh, technology platforms, um, and that is when the operations and enablement group was established. Um, in some of our uh, previous uh, quarterly reports and publications, you might have uh, seen enterprise technology and operations, but um, that um, that um, name of the organization has now shifted. So think of it as much larger than just our IT department, uh, but groups that are really driving innovation, uh, looking at our real estate footprints, um, just making sure that all of our operations day to day are running as, as efficiently and effectively as possible. As I mentioned to you, 86% uh, of the information that we share is de delivered digitally. So you can just imagine the technology stacks that, that is required to deliver that around the world. Um, the other area which I'm going to speak to you about is our Asia and Emerging Markets Group. Um, so once again, this was formed uh, after the Blackstone Partnership was announced. Um, and in essence, um, what this is, is we are trying to focus on higher growth markets uh, where we can grow our tax and professional, um, sorry, our tax professionals and our legal professionals uh, customer base. So a lot of those businesses are focused in North America and in the UK and Europe. Um, we do have some presence in South America, Asia, Africa, Middle East, uh, but not as much as we'd like. Um, so we are really taking a strategic approach to having an organization which is looking at what are the higher growth markets um, for each of those areas. 